Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Thanks so much for being here. Make yourself comfortable. Obviously from the title, today I am going to be giving you guys the hot tips that I wish someone had told me before I graduated from college with a communications degree. I wish someone had told me these things so that I would be better equipped to stand out on the job boards and to hiring managers. So I thought why not share them with you so that you don't make the same mistakes that I did. I graduated from the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign in 2018 with a Bachelor of Science degree in Agricultural Communications, which is a very niche thing, but for the purposes of this video, we're just gonna say communications because that's basically what my degree was. Disclaimer, these are just things that I have found to be true in my life. I know that people have vastly different experiences after college, job searching. These are just things that I realize now would have helped me in my goals and my job search. So without further ado, here are five things I wish I had known before I got my communications degree. Number one, if there's a more specific major, choose one of those. Unless they don't offer a separate journalism or marketing major, choose one of those majors instead of communications. For example, I graduated with a degree in agricultural communications with a concentration in journalism. What ended up happening is that I knew some stuff about journalism, but not as much as the kids who were actually majoring in journalism. So I just ended up having kind of like a watered down version of their education. I wish I had just chosen a journalism major because why would they choose someone with a watered down knowledge of journalism when they could choose someone who spent four years learning more in depth about journalism. Basically remember that a jack of all trades is a master of none. Now you might be thinking, but Amy, I don't know exactly what direction I wanna go in after college. That's fine, that's where the next tips come in. The second thing that I wish someone had told me before getting my communications degree was that the jobs are in digital marketing. Now I've been out of college for about two years now and I've been around the job board block a few times and I can tell you that the most common communications type jobs that I see are things like paid search specialist, data analyst, SEO specialist, social media manager. If you are not learning the skills that would be needed for these jobs in your classes already, I suggest you find a way to gain some supplemental knowledge real quick. That brings me to my third thing that I wish someone had told me before I graduated with a communications degree, which is to keep super up to date on all of the digital marketing lingo and trends. Sometimes professors that have been teaching the same classes for a few years now are using slightly dated information to teach you about digital marketing, which is not gonna fly in this day and age. You want to be reading blogs like HubSpot so that when you're in your first job and your boss says to you, hey, could you go into the back end and analyze those analytics Analytics and find some KPIs that we can put in the deck for upper management. Thanks. You know what the heck they're talking about. You gotta know that shit if you want to not only ace interviews, but fit in seamlessly to your workplace. The fourth thing that I wish someone had told me before I graduated with a communications degree was to get more involved in my school. I've never been someone who was super involved in school. I didn't do that many clubs in high school, and I didn't do that many things in college. I did some theater in high school and college, but that's about it. But I really wish someone had stressed to me the importance of getting involved in clubs and organizations specifically related to my major. I really wish that I had joined the school newspaper because like I said, I was a journalism concentration in my communications degree and not having any experience on a newspaper or on a school broadcast network is not very helpful in finding a job. There's tons of kids that were on their school newspaper or on their school news program and those kids have a much better chance of getting a great first job out of college. There's all sorts of PR clubs, journalism clubs, marketing clubs, your school newspaper, school magazines, school TV stations. Try to find at least one of those things to get super involved in. And don't just be on the sidelines, don't just be passively in those clubs get involved in those clubs so that you have something impressive to already have on your resume once you graduate. The fifth thing that I really wish someone had told me before I graduated from college with a communications degree is to get multiple internships during college. I had one internship during college my junior year and that was great, but other kids have had internships every summer since entering college. That gives them a huge advantage in the job search because they already have multiple years of experience or experience at multiple workplaces. There are so many people who graduate from college with a communications degree that you have to do things 
to make yourself stand out to hiring managers and one of the best things you can do is have multiple internships all throughout college. Most hiring managers are not going to want to give a job or an interview to the scrappy underdog who doesn't have anything on their resume. They're just not. I hate that it's this way, that you're expected to have three years of experience for an entry-level job right out of college. I wish that that wasn't the case, but that's just the way it is, folks. A little sixth bonus tip for you is to get familiar with data and data analytics. For any communications job, whatever it is, the people that are hiring you, especially if they're older than say in their 30s are going to want to hire communications professionals who also have a strong understanding of data analytics. So I suggest taking some sort of class on Skillshare or LinkedIn Learning or something of that sort because a lot of communications programs don't include data and data analytics as part of their curriculum, but it's really important in this day and age. Anyways, those are the tips that I wish someone had told me before I graduated from college with a communications degree. I really hope this video was helpful to you if you are looking to begin college or you're confused about what you can be doing during college to make finding a job afterwards easier. Again, these are just tips that would have been helpful for me in my goals. Your goals could be different, especially if money is not that important to you. But if it is, which I know it is for a lot of people, especially with debt, these tips will help you get not only a job after college, but a good job at a legit company that you're going to enjoy. If you liked this video or found it helpful, I would appreciate it so much if you subscribed to my channel and gave this video a thumbs up. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye!